With this command, you can instantly create an AI image that looks similar to the exact one you're looking at right now either on the web page you're visiting or in the Google search results. This is what I mean. Imagine you're performing a search for a supercar and you see something you like. You then think to yourself, I wish I could instantly generate a prompt right now that would create an image that looks like that car. Or say you're on a website visiting a beautiful beach in Hawaii. Instantly create a prompt that will generate an AI image that looks just like that beach. If you're a visual person, this is amazing. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do this using Harpa AI. For hundreds of prompts to try, click the links in the description. Okay, so check this out. I first performed a Google search very simply for just the word supercar, as you can see up here in my search bar. And when I went ahead and just scrolled through some of these images, I finally decided on one that I liked. How about this orange McLaren right here? It populates and pops up on the right hand of my screen. Okay, let's go ahead and work with this one right here. Now just visit the web page it's on. I then just clicked one button and poof, just like that, I got 10 amazing prompts I could use. And you could use all these prompts for Leonardo AI, Mid Journey, Adobe Firefly, or any other AI generating tool of your choice. And it will generate an image similar to this orange McLaren that you see over here on your screen right now. Here, check this out. Here are the ones I made from Leonardo AI. This did a fantastic job simply off of this exact image right here. And just based off of Harper AI's knowledge and what page I'm on, it crafted me 10 prompts to duplicate this orange McLaren with just simply one click of a button. And then so over here in Leonardo AI, here is one of the prompts I used right here. It said, imagine the McLaren 750S. So if I go back over here to this page right here, look right here on this web page, and I have it highlighted right here. It says exactly just that, the new McLaren 750S. So with this prompt, Harpa AI knew exactly what it was supposed to make. It could also make a Hawaiian beach with just one click of a button. In fact, I'm gonna share three prompts for you to use and try for yourself, and exactly what you need to do to save them, and moving forward, all it takes is one click and a visit to a web page, and you'll get AI created images just like the one you're looking at. So here's how we're gonna do it. I'll first show you the process on exactly how you need to do this. Then I'll show you what prompt or prompts to use. I'll actually share three prompts for you guys to use and try for yourself. Once I share these prompts with you, then I'll show you how to save it in Harpa AI. So then moving forward, all you have to do over and over again is just perform one click. And then just like that, I received 10 prompts to duplicate the image that I'm looking at on my screen right now. Almost identical and pretty impressive. I can go back to Leonardo AI and I can look at all of the other ones it gave for me as well. And so like I said, all the prompts it made for me are over here on the right hand side. And as you scroll down, you could see all 10 of them. This is pretty impressive. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start this awesome process. Now, here are the three prompts I'll be sharing with you guys today. We'll go through each one. Now, the first thing you wanna do is just make sure you have the Harpa AI Chrome extension installed. It's free and then it's very easy. To do that, just visit Harpa AI's website, click install Chrome extension, and then just like that, it's ready to use. And then once it is installed, you'll notice it up here on the top right-hand side in your toolbar. So. When you're visiting any page, just simply click it and it expands just like this. So now let's go over to Google and then just type in the keyword that you want. Using the same thing, let's go ahead and then just type in supercar, okay? So to make things easy, let's go ahead and go to Google Images. Once you're over here on Google Images, pick one that you want. So the one I did earlier, sticking with the same process, I went ahead and clicked on this one right here, okay? There is that orange McLaren. From here, just go ahead and select visit to actually visit the page that the car is on. Now, go ahead and open up that Harper AI Chrome extension. Once you're in here, all you have to do is hit that slash command and you could see that right over here in the top right hand corner, I have three image generators. I have one, two, and three. Now, I already added these myself and that's the next thing I'll show you after this process. Once this process is done, just quickly showing you exactly how to use it, I'll show you exactly how to install these plugins so you never have to go through this again. So anytime you want an image, one click, that's all it takes, okay? So we can choose one of these image generators. They're all gonna do the same exact thing, but come out with a little bit of a different result, but all photorealistic. So say I'm on this page right here and I like this McLaren. All you have to do now moving forward is just perform one click and let's do that right now. I'll click this over here on the right hand side and now at the bottom portion of Harpa AI, you can see it went ahead and filled it in. Just hit enter. Now watch this. Here is exactly what Harpa AI is gonna do. Given the information provided, I'm crafting innovative and intriguing prompts for AI image generating tools. 
Each prompt is designed to generate visually striking, photorealistic, and hyperrealistic images. Now look at this. It's starting the process right now, and it performs the first one, and it's gonna go ahead and continue to generate 10 different styles for us to use to craft and generate an image comparable to the one we're currently looking at. So now, once this process is done, the next thing you wanna do is just simply scroll through these prompts and select one that you like, and then put it in any AI tool. In this case, we'll be using Leonardo AI. That's my favorite tool. Okay, wow, I'm officially blown away with what Leonardo AI gave me. And I even added a few of these into Midjourney as well. And I'll show you what those came up with. But look at this first one right here. Here is the one where you're diving into the microscopic details to really show off the meticulous details and the carbon fiber. Look at this right here from Leonardo AI, amazing. And to think this was just created with just one click of a button. This other one right here, showcased the McLaren 750S racing on the track. Look at these right here, these look fantastic as well. And these were all made with Leonardo AI photo reel. So now let's head over to Mid Journey and then check out what Mid Journey gave me right here. Futuristic style in the futuristic neon metropolis, pretty cool. I'll save the best for last. And then we also have this one right here. This is gonna be the one that's showing a microscopic detail of the McLaren's carbon fiber, pretty impressive. But then my favorite one that Midjourney made is this one right here. Look at this. This is the one where showing a McLaren in outer space on the planet Saturn driving on Saturn's rings. Look at this right here. And that's exactly what this one's doing, driving on the rings of Saturn. Okay, so now that you guys saw the process, let me show you exactly how to build this prompt. Add it as a command in the Harpa AI. So moving forward, all it takes is one click from you each and every time. Go ahead and just open up Harpa AI, just like this, okay? Once you're in Harpa AI, it's very simple. At the bottom, go ahead and type in that slash command at the bottom part of your screen. Once you have that slash command typed in, now look up at Harpa AI at the top where it says create. Now all you have to do is just hit that create button. Press that create button, and now you're gonna create a command for Harpa AI to use. Here's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and just name the command anything that you want, but name it something to where you can remember what it does. So in this case, let's do this. I'll just put in AI images, okay? Once you have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this little one right here and start over. So I have my title named AI images. Now, just hit this plus button, add the step. Once you add the step, select GPT, and then this box opens up right here. Do you see where it says prompt? Now, all you wanna do from here is just copy and paste one of the prompts I'm about to give you. So I'll give you these three prompts. So all you have to do is then just copy one of the three. Then come back over here in the Harpa AI and then just paste it in. And then here is the prompt right here. And then once you get the hang of this, you'll know exactly how to create prompts for anything that you want. So here's the prompt right here. It basically says, act as a digital art curator with expertise in AI generated images, create images for mid-journey, lean auto AI, stable diffusion based. And then it's gonna be photorealistic with some characteristics of of UHD, 8K, realistic rendering, etc. Now, the important thing to keep in mind is this last command at the very bottom, the image. So you're essentially telling Harpa AI what image you're gonna be basing this prompt off of. So all you wanna do is put the image and then put this, page. Put these two bracketed text on either end of page and then put in page exactly like this. And all this is is just basically short code to tell Harpa AI that the image you want to be created is based off of the image that Harpa AI is currently seeing on the page you're currently visiting, okay? So once you have that done, now all you have to do is just hit save at the top left-hand corner. There you have it. So there it is, it appears right here. It's called AI Images. Now, the next step is go back to Google or any web page that you want. But let's just say I visited this web page over here where it says the best five beaches in Hawaii 2021. So now let's just go back to Google and then just type in something else this time. Let's just type in Hawaii Beach, okay? Now you could do this based off of any website or any Google image. So to make it easy, let's go off of the images right here and then go through a few of these and then click a beach that you like. So let's just go ahead and click this one right here. Once you have it opened up, visit the actual web page. Then next, open up Harpa AI. Now, here's how you find your command that you just created. Again, at the bottom of Harpa AI, it says type slash for a quick command, type slash, and then your user ones should automatically appear right here. If they don't, all you have to do is just hit this button that says user up here. So we have favorited, we have productivity, we have all, hit user. The user tab are gonna be all of the prompts that you have personally made for Harper AI, and that's exactly what we just did. And it will show up here by default. Make sure you have user highlighted. So next step, just select the command. So we just made this one, AI images, select it. You could see it automatically appear down here. Once it's down here, same thing. Just hit that send button, and then look at this. It starts going to work. It says, certainly. 
Here are some innovative and intriguing prompts tailored for AI image generating tools, taking inspiration from the content on the five best beaches in Hawaii 2021. And so it's taking the content information from the title of the page right here, the five best beaches in Hawaii 2021. And then here it goes. It goes and spits out all of these prompts for us. And then it even characterizes it based off of apps, Leonardo AI, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, etc. But the cool thing to keep in mind is that these prompts are all interchangeable. So any of them that you see for Leonardo, Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, etc., they could all be used for any AI app generator and they work quite well. Let's go ahead and then just choose one of these ones we like. All right, let's first head over to Leonardo AI and then check out the images it made for us right here. Here's the first prompt Photorealistic, octane rendered, day, transitioning to night at Lanakai Beach, Oahu. Look at this right here. And that's exactly what this made for us in Leonardo AI utilizing the photo reel. Look at that right there. Man, that is amazing. Let's go through a few of these and see exactly what Leonardo AI did for us. Craft an 8K UHD hyper-realistic image of Waikiki Beach in the golden era with the modern touch of luxury oceanfront resorts. And then look at that right over here. It followed it to a T. And then up here, I have the same exact prompt, but this time I used the absolute reality in Leonardo AI as my fine-tuned model. And then this did a fantastic job as well. So this is pretty cool. And now check out what Mid Journey made for us over here. So this is the one right here. This this is another photorealistic one, a day at the beach where daytime is transitioning into night with the sunset. This looks fantastic over here in Midjourney. And then here is the other one it made for us too. We have the beautiful beaches of Hawaii right here. Pretty impressive. So let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear about what you were able to generate utilizing these prompt commands. I'll also put the links in my description. That way you can copy and paste these prompts and then use them however you want. But thanks so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these types of videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.